And g'day, today we're having a look at this. It's just simply a phone box, and this is how it came. And as we open it, all will be revealed. We have a ceramic peeler by MyFit and a collection of ceramic knives, which I'll get out now. Quite sharp from the feel. We've got quite a few in here, so I'll pop them all out. And I'll put them on the table. And I'll come back once I've got them all out. And here are the ceramic knives by MyBit and the peeler itself. We have four knives in the set of different lengths and as you can see the peeler. I've got a uh, another knife here to compare it against. So this is a scan pan so hopefully that'll uh, be a good choice. Let's put all these to the side for the moment and uh, slice a bit of, a bit of one of these. Okay, so she slices through okay. We'll choose the big one in comparison, swing it around that way and uh, in comparison, we'll see what we got. The ceramic blade cuts through the tomato very easily. I know you can't actually, uh, you know, feel what I'm cutting at the moment, but you can see that's cut very, very thin. I'll go again. It just glides through it. It's unreal. We'll try the other knife, this bigger one. And I can't, if I put too much pressure, you can see I'm squeezing, it will not cut. So that one cuts okay. We'll try a next size down, we'll try this one, see what it's like. I'll cut a thin, just slices beautiful, look at that. Unreal, the sharpness of this thing's incredible. It works really, really well. Okay, oh, we'll go down the size, we'll try the next one. See how this goes. Um, yep. Yeah. Bit harder to get it started but still slices beautiful and try the smallest one of all this of course I don't expect much oh surprise surprise it uh, she slices as well so that's not bad okay we'll uh, put that knife aside we'll grab something else to cut I'll just get these to the, to the side here for the moment and uh, give this a crack Try and cut it thin. Okay. I'm putting quite a bit of force on there. You could probably hear me hitting the, um, the actual chopping board in comparison. And this is just, wow, <laughs> it just glides. You can hear that just touch. Unreal, that cuts beautiful. Okay, well, let's see what we can do with this thing. Give this a bit of a crack. Which way have we got? We've got it the right way? That way. Ah, makes a difference if you hold it the right way. And as you can see, that uh, feels quite nice. Don't have an issue with that. I'm on a funny angle to the camera, so... If it looks like I'm having a bit of a struggle here, it's uh, not the actual device itself, it's uh, the fact that I'm on a weird angle. Okay, that uh, huh, that works alright too. Let's, let's slice this carrot, see what it's like. Get these to the side again. And uh, we'll try the big one, give that a crack, maybe there. Okay, you can hear there's a bit of force in that one. Gotta get this started. Okay, so she cuts nice and thin. You can see how thin that was. Try the other knife again. That uh, goes through okay. Let's try once again this one. This is more of a slicing knife than a chopping knife, so I think putting force on it is not a good idea compared to something which has got a bit of weight in it. This 
definitely slices beautiful. I can't fault it on that. Uh, for sharpness, the old trick of course is to grab a bit of paper which we've got here. We'll try the, the other knife here and we'll give it a bit of a try start again. Okay, so not doing too good there. Let's try this one. Okay, I think <laughs> try a okay. Oops. As you can see I'm having a bit of, bit of trouble getting up the cut. So in comparison this knife is very, very blunt. Let's try a different size knife. We'll try this one. Let's see if we can get it going. Wow. So she slices through paper like it's nothing. So yeah, the set works uh, really, really well. They are a slicing knife, so you know, ideal for sort of slicing stuff, but definitely not for chopping. I think if you chop, you might uh, find them a little bit hard to, to use, but apart from that, I mean, they're brilliant. Absolutely love it. I'll grab a tomato. I'm curious now if I just slice. Look at that. Wow, that's incredible. Now, my final thoughts on the uh, Wipe It kitchen knives. They're quite well made. Uh, you've got a hard plastic here, you've got like a rubberized plastic here, so your hands don't slip in it. You've got a nice area for your fingers, so a good grip. You've got uh, obviously a little hole at the end here for hanging them up. You've got a scabbard that they come with. You've got hollow ground blades on the actual knife itself. Uh, so, yeah, not bad. Very, very sharp. You definitely don't want to play with these things, so that little scabbard comes in very handy. My final thought, as I was saying, yep, I like them. They're not bad at all. Don't cost an arm and a leg, and, uh, you know, they work as advertised, as they say. I'll leave a link below for those who are interested in purchasing them. I got these ones from Banggood. Um, by the way, if you haven't already subscribed, you know, please consider it. You know, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, either way, doesn't matter. If you want to leave a comment, I won't say no to that either. Anyway, all the very best. Till next time, take care. Bye.